Hello again and welcome to Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. Great to have you along in this season opener. The Cowboys open with North Dakota on Saturday at 2 o'clock. And coach, here's the day you've been waiting for. I know the Cowboys have had a big fall. We certainly have. And you know, this is a great time of year as a, as a football coach. You know, a little bit of a crisp fall air. Um, this game, the, the preparation started way last uh, February when our players reported for off-season conditioning. And so the process of going through the strength and conditioning and spring football and summer conditioning and a rigorous fall camp uh, game time is now right around the corner. Boy, isn't it though? Let's take a look at the Cowboy offense. Can we break that down a little bit, Coach? I know this is a side of the football that you're looking for big things uh, from this year. We certainly are. And anytime you talk about offense, you're always going to have a, an intense focus on the quarterback. Uh, Cam Kaufman is a guy who we redshirted last year and uh, has come along. Um, he's a fifth year senior. While he's a fifth year senior, he's not a fifth year senior in our offense. And so I think he's been caught up to speed. Brent Vegan's done a great job with him. You'll find Cam to be a very poised pocket passer. He's got good mobility. He gets into his first and second and many times his third read. And those are hard things to do. And so we're pleased with Cam's progress. Uh, the next stage of our offense, I think you really need to look at is our running backs. Uh, you know, we have two really big time hitters, guys who are over 210 pounds. Uh, Sean Wick and Brian Hill are very capable rushers. And uh, along with that, I think you need to look at the offensive line. Uh, you know, we went through a 180 degree uh, change of culture and style of play on offense last year. Uh, this is a power of football attack that we have. And so our offensive linemen have added some lean muscle mass. But more so than that, they've added a, an attitude of coming off the football and moving the line of scrimmage. Uh, I think it's going to be important for us to have great play at the wide receiver position. Tanner Gentry is a guy who came on and played well for us last year. Jake Mulhar also. And so we'll really rely on those two guys. We'll have a whole host of freshman receivers out there. Guys who have a lot of ability, but sometimes don't know if they're on foot or horseback yet. Uh, and then the next spot, uh, the tight end position, you know, we're certainly uh, happy with the tight end. Jake Hollister has done a great job. And then uh, uh, Drew Vanderman has done a great job at the fullback position. So that kind of sums up our, uh, our offense. Kind of a nice mix, Coach. You do have some experience there, players that have played. Mm -hmm. But then you're going to have a mix of some young players who really haven't played a whole lot, yeah. Division I college football, that will be asked to contribute this year. Well, they certainly will. And I think uh, we're an emerging program, and we've done a good job in recruiting. And uh, so we're really looking forward to these freshmen coming out and having an impact on our ball club this year. Yeah. This offense, of course, the West Coast offense, it's a great mix, uh, mm -hmm. I think, of run and pass. But still, you very much want to run the football with this bunch. Well, the, the uh, trump card that we'd like to think we have in our pocket is our ability to run. Uh, some of that, the proof's going to be in the pudding as we move through the season this year. But uh, early indications are that we're going to be able to control the line of scrimmage. And when you're able to do that, it has such an impact in the passing game. And so we want to be balanced, but we're going to lean heavier on the run than the pass. Yeah. And isn't it nice having those experienced backs come back? Sean Wick missed some games because of injury last year, but such an effective back. And then, of course, Brian Hill had a breakout season last year. We certainly did. Brian played in our first game last year, and we didn't know how Brian would play. And, you know, he didn't shy away from the competition. He's done a great job, and uh, Sean Wick's done a great job as well. Well, it really has. It'll be exciting to watch that Cowboy offense uh, work this year, that's for sure. Well, stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bull. We'll come back next and take a look at the defensive side of the football right after this timeout. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bull is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Well, the Cowboys open up with North Dakota in War Memorial Stadium, 2 o'clock on Saturday. Boy, this is a day we've been looking for, uh, forward to for a long time, Coach. And I know that uh, uh, the defensive side of the football, you're very anxious to put this team out on the field. Should be very, very exciting with a lot of young players in the mix and some veterans and some playing different positions on that side of the football. We, uh, we looked at uh, the lay of the land and we, once we got in the heart of Mountain West Conference play, we recognized a couple of uh, things that we were uh, deficient. One was our speed and athleticism. 
And so you're going to find this defense to be one that can run to the ball better uh, when we're out in space, be able to play more uh, different coverages and different, different fronts to uh, confront some of the uh, challenging offensive schemes that we're confronted with. Um, I think anytime you look at our defense, uh, you, you need to start out with the defensive tackles, guys that don't get a lot of maybe public notoriety, but uh, we're really pleased. Chase Appleby has done a great job at the nose guard position. Uso Oliva has done a great job at the defensive tackle position. And while some people on the outside say, hey, what's the difference between the two positions? There are some differences, but both of them are not very tall in stature, but uh, very strong and very athletic. Um, you know, our, our keynote player over on defense is Eddie Yarborough. He's been an outstanding player and he's recognized nationally. And I think he's on some of the watch lists around the country and that's well deserved. Eddie's leaned up a little bit. He's gotten quicker. Um, he's got a great power rush, but he's improved his speed rush. And so when you have that one, two punch, that's going to really make a difference. Uh, We'll see Holly, Ali Api Api. I think I finally gotten that down. I told him the other day, I've got that down. Um, you know, he's gotten better. And he was a guy who played some repetition last year. Uh, he's become one of our leaders. Matter of fact, he was chosen as one of our captains along with Eddie. And so uh, we're really pleased with our defensive front. Anytime you talk about defense, you better be strong up front. Uh, the linebacker position has gone through really a lot of different movements. Lucas Walk is back. Bill started as our wheel position. And uh, Lucas is a guy that's got really good athletic ability. He runs well. That wheel position typically has been our number one playmaker as far as numbers of tackles. And so uh, we're excited about having Lucas back. Eric Nazache has made a huge transition going from the tight end position over to the Mike linebacker position. And you know, he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't want to be known as Mark's brother. And uh, that Mike position in the Tampa two is really critical. A guy that can have the ability to run the middle of the field, go sideline to sideline, and yet have enough punch uh, to play those inside running plays. And so, you know, um, we're really excited about Eric there. Over at the uh, Sam position, we've kind of slashed it, called a Sam nickel position. DJ May was a talented running back uh, that possesses great speed. We flipped him over to the defensive side of the ball. He's very aggressive, he's got great movement, he's got great speed, and so uh, you'll see him come off the edge quite a bit. Uh, you know, we'll be young in the secondary. Uh, anytime you look down the heart of the field, uh, Chavez Pownow will start at the strong safety position. You know, he's a redshirt freshman. Uh, he's very aggressive, he's got good ball skills. Uh, Marcus Epps will start the first game uh, at the free safety position. Robert Priester's a name that a lot of the guys have uh, heard about last year, we'll rely heavily on him. And Anthony McCransky is a guy who will be a redshirt freshman that will start at that other corner position. Yeah, a lot of new names there, Coach. Oh, yeah. But as you said before, all these, all those people you just mentioned, they can run. This is a well, team. These, that, that yeah, can they run can. You'll, you'll see a difference. Uh, you know, it was interesting. Uh, Steve Standard, a defensive coordinator, sat in the room the other day. Goes, geez, we look faster. I said, we are faster, Steve. And but uh, we needed an upgrade. And and within a short recruiting cycle between playing freshmen and taking some offensive guys and flipping them over. Those aren't easy transitions, but we're well pleased with where those guys are at. It'll be fun to watch them play Saturday. I want it though, looking forward to it. Well, stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. It's all coming back at you right after this timeout. He was a first-team all-conference player a year ago. He's been selected preseason all-conference, and he is an All-American candidate, Wyoming's Eddie Yarbrough. Expecting big things from Eddie this year. Our own Kevin McKinney had a chance to sit down and talk with Wyoming Cowboy Eddie Yarbrough. Eddie, I've been around a while, and I don't know that I've ever seen a guy who's always smiling like this, always upbeat, always a happy guy. Who did you get that from? I can honestly say I got it from both my mother and my father, because they both, uh, I don't know, they're both, especially my dad, because I'm, I'm the junior, so I get it from my dad, but he's always been upbeat and same with my mother, so I get it from my parents, definitely. Now to the important stuff of football. 
uh, opening game. Oh yeah. Uh, I know you're excited. It's your last go around. Last of the Mohicans, as they say. What's going to be on your mind as you go through this one last time? I I'd have to say that just all the great memories, all the just the days, the home openers, the first days running out that tunnel, I, every, this, the stadium just rocking. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be definitely emotional because uh, when coaches, a lot of people think like, oh, when people say you only get these certain kind of feelings periodically throughout your life, like uh, your, your freshman year, the first time you run out, when you have your first child, I can honestly say this is the feeling of that opening day, the buzz, the buzzing of the crowd before that kickoff, it, it, it's second to none. It, you don't get that every day. All the uh, accolades you have garnered, uh, how ca can you get better? You have to. You can't. The day, the day, if you ask that person, somebody, and they say, and they say no, that's the day they stop getting better. That's the day their career dies because it's, it's not a destination. You have to keep going out there every single day and saying, I can get better at this, get better at that. And nobody's played a perfect game, but I still haven't even practiced a perfect practice yet. Like just give today, for example, blew a coverage, kills me, he's eating up inside, but just got to go out there and every single day and try to have that perfect game and have that perfect practice. So I definitely can. Assignment sound, I can get faster, I can get stronger. It's a laundry list of things I can get better at. Is it fun to be a defensive end and why? Oh, it's, it's awesome. You're the edge of the defense. You can get a sack. Uh, you can get an interception. You can get a fumble recovery. But like nose guards, they're, it's uphill battle for them. At least I could get a, a nice number, 55, a, a nice little number or something. I can catch a ball or something. But inside, and even linebackers, you know, they uh, – they don't get to be the edge of the defense and have really their own, per se, like edge. They all have to share. As a defensive end, you kind of get your own property. Where did you get number 55? Number 55. So my numbers I've ever had is 76. That was my dad's number. 31, that was my uncle's number. And then uh, in high school, I won at 56. Freshman year, senior had it. So I was 47. And then my senior year, I got the number 56. I come in my freshman year, my true freshman year, I go up to Mad Dog. What do you want your number to be? Uh, I was like, I'll take 56. He's like, you can't have 56. I was like, oh, so sorry. He's, uh, he said, there's only one number, one of the only numbers retired at the University of Wyoming is number 56. So I was like, all right, uh, is 55 available? He's like, yep, yeah, you got 55, and he threw me my jersey. And you made it phase. It may be retired someday. <laughs> Knock on wood, hopefully. <laughs> what, uh, what's going to go on in your mind sitting in the locker room? on that opening game. Uh, you've been through spring ball, summer conditioning, oh, yeah. uh, all this fall camp. Now it's finally your last go around, your opening game. You know, it never, you think you get used to it, but I'll probably be just as nervous, just as wound up as I was my freshman year going out there. I'll be out there, can't feel my feet. Like, oh, do I have my cleats tied right? And, you know, it's just, this is the whole shebang because it never gets old, at least for me it doesn't. I'll, I'm still just be just as nervous and excited as I was the first day I walked in here. When you came in as a freshman, did you think you'd be at this stage? I, I, it was one of my goals. I seen those guys like uh, Bazoons and them growing up. I was like, man, after practice, hey, can you head up for your interview? I'm just walking in and freshman holding my huge shoulder pads, huge helmet, I'm just walking in. So I was like, oh, I want to be that guy. I want to be that guy one day. So I was working at it. And the first day they asked me, hey, can you head upstairs? I was like, yes, first one. I still remember the day. Oh, yeah. What's going to be, if there's one memory that you will take away from the University of Wyoming, what might it be? My one memory? That's a hard question because there's just such an abundance. But I can honestly say that my first ever home game, I remember going out there and because uh, we played Texas the week before. That was the first time I ever got to play was uh, Texas at Texas. So we came home, uh, we came home and I was like, oh man, running out, running out, can't feel my feet. And then the fight song came on, just the dun, 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 dun. And it was third down and I was on the field and I promise you, I was like, I couldn't feel my hands on my feet. I looked at the sideline, I got the call, and then I looked down, got my stance, and I completely forgot the call. It had no idea what the call was. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna run a straight line and hope that it all works out. And I end up getting a shock on the play, and it was, uh, was that's probably my, my number one. I, I just can't even, it all worked out, but man, I couldn't, I couldn't relive it. I might black out on you. So it was just an amazing moment, definitely.
Well, he is a cowboy captain and he is some kind of football player. Great, great cowboy to hang your hat on for leadership, that's for sure, Eddie Yarbrough. Well, there's no doubt and he's receiving a lot of uh, preseason All-American uh, attention, which is well deserved. We've really enjoyed Eddie and I personally have. You know, he's, he's our bell cow. As, as he goes, our team goes. Uh, he's a guy that is a media darling. Uh, all the media people throughout the Mountain West love him. He's a real deal. He's just as great off the field as he is on the field. And uh, we're expecting great things from Eddie Yarbrough this year. Yeah, very electric personality, electric player, that's for sure. Eddie Yarbrough. Stay with us. We have more to come on Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. We're back after this. Inside Wyoming Football with Craig Bowl is brought to you by your Magnificent 7 Wyoming Toyota dealers, Wyoming Relay, the University of Wyoming International Programs Office, and the University of Wyoming Outreach School. Well, the Cowboys open up with North Dakota, 2 o'clock, War Memorial Stadium this Saturday. And of course, uh, uh, so anxious to see how that Cowboy offense does and how they approach this game, this season opener. We had a chance to hear from offensive coordinator Brent Vegan on North Dakota. Well, different than a you know traditional just week of preparation, we got a little extra time here. So, um, you know, because it's your first game, you're going over probably some situations that you, you know, you you net typically in a game week might not repeat your your last end of game calls, your, you know, and all the special team situations will get refined again. But for us, it's about getting the guys as healthy as possible, getting them as fresh as possible while keeping their sword sharp, so to speak, understanding the game plan um, and, and, you know, hopefully leaving Thursday night's practice with a, a complete sense of confidence that, uh, that come Saturday we can come out really play fast. You got to expect the unexpected. I, I know the the one thing that we have going is um, we've faced this coaching staff going back to Southern Illinois several times in the last decade, um, but they've also faced us too. You know, so there's a lot of knowledge between the two staffs, and um, we're both in different places now, but we're probably trying to do things in a very similar fashion. So I'm sure come Saturday there'll be a few things that we haven't seen from them, and um, I'm guessing the same would be uh, from us to them too. Time now to take a look at the keys to the game, driven by the Wyoming Magnificent 7 Toyota dealers. And Coach, here you go, Saturday 2 o'clock against North Dakota. What do we know about UND? Well, first of all, they're going to be a big, strong physical team. And um, they're linemen, uh, guys who are about 300 and some pounds, and they're going to come off the ball. Um, defensively, they operate out of a pesky 3-4 defense. Uh, and that typically starts with the nose guard. I think they're going to be aggressive in the secondary. They'll be really well coached. Bubba Swigert's a guy that uh, myself and the rest of the coaches have known a long time. And they'll come in prepared, uh, ready to play. And so it won't be a deal where um, we'll need to go ahead and take the win away from them. And that won't be an easy task for us to control the things that we got to control. Typically in opening games, turnovers always come into play in any ball game. But handling the football and things of that nature in opening games because you haven't had tons of live work, uh, it's going to be important for us. And then uh, the kicking game is going to be huge. Field position uh, is driven greatly by the uh, kicking game. And the kicking game um, has a big, big impact. And field position has a big impact on scoring. And so those are elements that you try to replicate during fall camp. Those are things that are difficult to do until you really get out there in the, in the uh, heart of the play. Um, you know, more than anything else, we're excited about our football team. Uh, the nature, uh, the mentality, our players are playing with much more confidence in the second year that we have had uh, our players, and so we're certainly excited about that. It'll be a great, great ball game. Well, it's a great schedule for the Cowboys this year, Coach, and it, isn't it nice to be able to open up at home, go out, run out on War Memorial Stadium, out on Jonah Field for your your first game, that has to be nice. Well, it certainly is, and playing at 2 o'clock in a fall afternoon in Laramie, I mean, I, I don't know if there's a better place uh, to play college football, and we certainly appreciate our fans coming from all over the region to, to War Memorial Stadium. 
Um, I know this is that uh, there's always a different tenor, a different look in every team. And so I get the best seat in the house and being able to be in the locker room with those guys before we come out on War Memorial Stadium, it's really a special f feeling. You know, you talk about players, Coach, and we've heard this many times. The most progress it seems that a player makes is from his freshman to his sophomore season. Here you are in your second season. Yeah. You've learned so much and, and I know you must feel a lot more comfortable going into this year with this bunch. Well, the way we operate as a coaching staff, we lay a deep foundation and to do that, that takes time. And so uh, for me as a head football coach to really understand our players, last year we tried to get ahead of the curve as much as we can, as much as we could, but it was a daunting task. You know, our players understand what our expectations are as coaches. Uh, we understand our players more, and we're going to leverage the strength that our players have. And when you do that, you begin to really make progress on the football field. Well, it should be something. The University of Wyoming against the University of North Dakota, right there on Jonah Field at War Memorial Stadium. Two o'clock, the kickoff time for the Cowboys and North Dakota. That's going to do it for us. Come back next time for Inside Wyoming Football with head coach Craig Bowl. For the head coach, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.